Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk and learn a little bit more about poems. So poetry is a little bit different than the books that we have been reading and looking at. Poems are typically shorter than a book, so we can see them sometimes just on a regular piece of paper. And some authors actually make a book of poems, um, but poems are different in that they are usually very short and they don't take a long time to read. Um, sometimes you will also hear rhyming words in poetry. So remember, rhyming words are those words that sound the same at the end, like cat and hat. But not all poems rhyme, so that can be kind of tricky. You have to listen out for those words. Some of the nursery rhymes that we have listened to and practiced this year in class are also considered poems. And poems can be really about anything. They can be serious, they can be silly, they can be sad or fun, and they can be about anything. So about the weather, about nature, about seasons, about silly things, about fun things, about your birthday. Um, you can really make a poem about anything. So we are going to read a few poems this week. And these all come from an author called Shel Silverstein. So he wrote a couple of, he wrote several poetry books and these poems are gonna come from his book, Where the Sidewalk Ends. If you want to look it up and read it on your own, I highly encourage it. It has a lot of very funny, short, silly poems in them. And he also has these really great illustrations that go with it. So this one is called Pancake. And you'll notice in the title, it is called Pancake, and it has a question mark. So we would ask that like a question. Pancake? Who wants a pancake? Sweet and piping hot? Good little Grace looks up and says, I'll take the one on top. Who else wants a pancake? Fresh off the griddle. Terrible Teresa smiles and says, I'll take the one in the middle. So it sounds like terrible Teresa might be up to no good because she wants to pull one of these pancakes out from the middle. So griddle and middle were two examples of rhyming words in that poem. All right, here's another one. This one's pretty short. It's only four lines. This one is called early bird. Oh, if you're a bird, be an early bird and catch the worm for your breakfast plate. If you're a bird, be an early bird, but if you're a worm, sleep late. In other words, if you're an early bird and you're going to get up and get the worm, then these worms, they've got to sleep late, right? So they don't get caught. So plate and late were two other rhyming words that we heard in that poem. All right, and finally, this one is called The Voice. So I want you to listen to this one, and this is one for you to think about. There is a voice inside of you that whispers all day long. I feel that this is right for me. I know that this is wrong. No teacher, preacher, parent, friend, or wise man can decide what's right for you. Just listen to the voice that speaks inside. So that's something for you to think about, um, the voice that's inside of you helping you decide what is right and what is wrong. And he's saying that that decision is up to you. So here are some questions to think and write about this week as we're listening to poetry. Think about things that you like and you wonder. So what did you like about these poems? Also, what maybe what did you not like? Did you not understand it? Did you not think it was funny? Um, did it make you sad? Did it make you feel happy? And then any I wonders. I wonder why the author did this. I wonder why he did that. Did you hear any rhyming words? And if so, what were they? And then finally, what was the tone of the poem? Was it serious or silly, happy or sad? And what words or pictures did the author use to make you feel that way? So that is just a little bit more about poetry.